since we're going through COVID, um, it's really been hard to believe anybody who's um, a leader about solving the problem. Here's one of the biggest reasons why. Back in 2006 or 2009, I can't remember. You'd have to look it up. I, I didn't look it up before I got online. I wanted to share this, but it, this is something you all have to research if you're going to listen to this. And I don't know how many people will. I've got 500 people on my site, and I don't ex know how many would listen to this other than maybe 10, 20, 30 people. Um, but forward this to your friends if you can, or look it up and forward them, um, what I'm talking about. And, um, there is an air pathogen detection device that was patent, patented, created for hospitals back in 2000 six or 2009 somewhere around there and maybe before that shortly after 911 maybe i i'm not sure i remember looking into it because there was like anthrax threats and stuff and i was wondering if there was a way to, to detect that so um i looked it up and they had just patented something when i looked it up recently and <clears throat> What they do is it takes a sample of the air, you know, every 30 minutes, and then it checks the DNA for, there was 300 different kinds of, of uh, viruses or germs or something, 200 or something, I don't remember. It was uh, quite a bit, but they could program this thing to detect any kind of pathogen in the air. And then it sends it to your PC. It's just a device they put in on the wall or something that takes a sample of the air. And then uh, sends, uh, sends all the information back to their PC in the lab or in the, you know, and then it has an alert. It sends an alert through their network in the hospital saying, you know, this is in the air. And um, they've got more than one. Once they got that one, now, you know, it's like a cookie cutter. Then they all come up with their own device like that to sell it, you know. Um, so they have engineered devices and should have been in the hospitals and um, should have been programmed to detect coronavirus 19. and or COVID-19. They haven't done it for all we know. They haven't talked to us about it. They, why are they hiding it? Um, why do they not talk about it? They could have put those detection device, devices in the restaurants, in the schools. They could have put them in the government buildings. I doubt they have them in, in any government building. They could have been police stations, fire stations, like all the nursing homes could have had them. They don't have them. They have the device. They don't have them in the homes. And for what reason? I, I don't know. I mean, hey, if, if maybe they can say it's not a perfected device or it's failed, but I haven't read where it's failed, so that I don't know. But they would make it up. I mean, why wouldn't they be advancing that? Why wouldn't they be working on it? And why haven't they? It's been a year. Um, they came up with a phony virus vaccine. Um, it's hard for me to believe that shooting dirty. I think what that vaccine is to me is like they took the dirtiest thing, invisible stuff out of poop, the sewer, sewage, whatever, you know, those things to contaminate your body to set off your natural immune system. At the same time, they condemn natural medicine. They they're using something your natural your own immune system there's nothing to cure you in that vaccine it's just something that contaminates you 
to set off your immune system. That's natural cure. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I think the way God created uh, a virus is an unclean thing. I, you would want to clean that out and get something like some plant or something that cleans that and kills that virus, you know. Who knows? They won't go that route. And uh, it's because it's less expensive. Then they wouldn't earn a lot of money. Um, then they wouldn't get honor for knowing these great scientists that they supposedly know and skills that they're you know, going through all the schooling and stuff. And I don't know what it is. You know, whatever evil it is, it is. But this device, now definitely, I mean, this device is engineered. And um, it's a detection device. And uh, why don't we have it? I mean, that, that I believe in. That sounds like a really good thing. I haven't used one. I don't know what it's like or how well it works. But um, they should have been in every everywhere. The air pathogen detection device. Look it up on the web, air pathogen detection device. And um, look up, look it up, research it, send it to your friends, let them, let them you know, wonder too why they didn't put these devices in. They had them. Why wouldn't they put them in back then so that we would have had alerts all over before this virus spread? Why haven't they talked about it at all? Air pathogen detection device. Look it up and research it.